You guys really have no idea what the government's been doing behind closed doors, using organizations that are for child safety, hospitals, doctors, therapists. <laughs> to take children. Having contracts with police departments to go and seize children. Hospitals getting paid off for calling in false CPS reports to take innocent children so they can do drug trials on them and use them as guinea pigs. That's what Phoenix Children's Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona does. And I have the contract. And Governor Ducey is a part of TGen, which is a medical research company, and they do trials on foster kids too. I am never going to stop hunting these pedophiles, these criminals, these high-profile government officials that believe that they're untouchable. Sorry, you're not untouchable. You guys need to wake up. I've been awake since I was 18 years old, and I'm 32 now, and I have really heard and met some incredible parents that have had some really horrific things happen to their children. One of the cases, a little boy was molested. He was raped with a hanger by his um, foster parent. Another little girl, because the foster mom was jealous, she poured boiling hot water on her in the bathtub, and the little girl had to get her her legs amputated, her toes, her toes amputated. Her name was Devony. And this is in Phoenix, Arizona. This is all in Arizona. I have over 30 families in Arizona. This is diabolical. This is satanic. And everyone needs to stand up because they're fighting your freedoms. They're giving you the jab so they can go after as many children as possible. God really needs to come through because I've had enough of watching innocent children just be brutally murdered and used just for the most horrible, unthinkable, unspeakable things. Things that you would never even imagine would even exist. My name is Sarah Yabara Johnson, and I'm an advocate, a survivor, a warrior, and I'm fighting for every child out there. Now is the time to wake up. March 6th, there's a march against all human trafficking. David Zublick is reporting on this. Post a video saying you stand with the March 6th march and post it online. It's game over for them. For all the pedophiles.